You may know Mercedes MJ Javid from the hit Bravo show Shaw's the Sunset. And Mercedes has been gracing us with her honesty and hilarious antic for years on end. And she's here with some exclusive news to give to us. The beauty herself, MJ, welcome to ET Live. Thanks for having me. I love that you've been watching from the beginning. Yes. That's the best. Guilty pleasure. It's not even a guilty pleasure. It's, it's a pleasure. Thank you. You're welcome. You're looking smashing today, per usual. Thank you. This is Streetwear PJs by King Shams. So I'm happy to say I'm launching things, doing other things other than being a mom. I love it. Well, let's talk about that. Congratulations are in order. Thank you. Shams Francis fight, beautiful baby boy. Oh, melts my heart. Literally. How are you feeling? I mean, is it everything you dreamed of? You know, I don't want to be the person that alienates people that don't have a baby because now I'm just like, you have to try it. You have to do it when the time is right. I'm in love. We're, Tommy and I are in a love cocoon. We just can't stop taking pictures, taking videos, kissing him. We're just in disbelief. It's the most beautiful blessing. We're so grateful. I love how you said a love cocoon. It's so romantic, <laughs> MJ. So romantic. Because you don't want to leave anywhere. You just want to be in that incubus with and, your and baby. And snuggled up and cuddled. Yes. I love it. Shams. Francis fight. Yes. The name. It was so important for you and Tommy to to name your, your son after parents that have passed on. Why was that? Yes, because first of all, it represents his culture, which is Irish, and mine, which is of course Persian. And my father meant so much to me. His mother meant so much to him. And you want to keep legacy alive. And it's so important to make sure that, you know, when my father passed. He was so philanthropic. He made such a difference in people's lives. And then you start to think about your future in a completely different way when you have someone to live for and think about things differently. And, you know, unfortunately, Tommy lost his mom at a young age. So we got to keep the legacy alive. And I think it's a beautiful name and it just made sense. And all those other names out there that didn't mean anything to us. Sorry, can't do it. I think I read that you had said that if God took away your father, he blessed you with this baby boy. And that was one of the reasons why you wanted to pay homage. So beautiful. Thank you. Your journey to becoming a mother, we, we saw it play out on television, IVF. And you, I think yeah. you told People Magazine recently that it's, it was a difficult um, process and it wasn't easy. No, I actually, I, I have to beg everybody, women out there, to go through the process, no matter how much, it, how, much how, how turbulent it might be. But... The freezing eggs wasn't easy. The it's it's a lot of different um, push and pull with like your a woman's emotions. Sure. You know, and then forget about the pregnancy because I can't even, like almost having a miscarriage, having to get a surclage, having to be laying flat for several months and holding on to the pregnancy, and then you know the birth was also very dramatic. Well, let's talk about that because Tommy had said it was one of the worst nights of his life. You you had a C-section, yes? Emergency C-section, okay. couple of days of failed inducement, and then just I lost a lot of blood and I had a lot of transfusions in order to stay alive. Wow. Woke up when I woke up, there was some comedy honestly. It was fun to have to be in the restraints and have the ventilator on and the but the look of all of the nurses and doctors who came in, that was a real reality check. Seeing Tommy, my mom, was uh, a wake-up call. Like, wow, this was something really serious that I went through. I was awake through some of it, and then they put me completely out so that I didn't have to for, you know, four hours or whatever. But then, you know, thank God. You said it was a wake-up call, meaning... Meaning that um, I realized what I went through after, I, I mean, I slept through some of, most of it, but um, it was, it, w it was really a big, it was a big deal to see so many hospital doctors and nurses and staff just say, we're so lucky and we're so happy that we didn't lose you. That was not what, a, what I was expecting birth to be. Got it. Got it. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like you're like, I'm just going to give birth. I'm just going to have a C-section. Right. Like everyone makes it through that. Sure. And then to have that. Yeah. It's it's it's. Uh... We're going to go through that later. Like, I honestly think that maybe in the future, Tommy and I might have to go through a little counseling to sort of like. Because you haven't unpacked that. that yet, have you? No. And why not? Because I have a brand new born to think about. I have to be strong on the outside. I have a lot to sort of be like. We're very strong in our culture, so we're always in survival mode. So I think that you shift always to, like, that strong, the strength inside of you and, like, smiling and being happy and being strong. It's, like, the, the major. How's Tommy? 
Tommy's great. I mean, as a father, he is incredible. He sings to the baby, the baby and him have a really beautiful bond. He got to hold him for a lot longer than I did until I came, you know, out of ICU. So they got to bond first, which is amazing. I'm not going to say I'm jealous or anything, you know, yeah. but I will say if I don't get in trouble that I did get snuck out of ICU for a minute so that I could hold the baby and then I had to go back. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Cedars was great. So you were on a reality show, of course, as we know, where, and we do know that the next season of Shaw's of Sunset is currently in production. Were cameras rolling during your birth? Uh, no. Um, yes, you're right. They are filming, but I have not signed my deal yet. I hope that I do, but we're in talks and, you know, we're negotiating. I just have to make sure that my contribution to the show is, you know, reflective of my deal as well as Tommy and my mom and my newborn and so you know I love Shaw's yeah. and obviously it's a part of my life and you know hopefully it'll work out. So we're hearing that you 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 you're, you haven't signed on for this new season and is there a possibility that you won't come back? You know I hope I do and I can't like I said like you know with me you get it all. Yeah very real. And yes and of course like this is like the biggest event of my life. Um, I actually Somehow, funny enough, um, the, a lot of the drama on set is centered around me, which I think is a little crazy considering like for, for, for the fact that I was in ICU and my best friend, Reza, like blocked me on social and I'm sitting here thinking, why isn't he here with me and for the baby? And like, so there's a lot going on, a lot of beautiful, wonderful things going on. And since I always put everything out there, like you would hope that the audience and everyone will want to be there for that. You mentioned that Reza blocked you on social media. I mean, <laughs> we all know, MJ, that Reza, you're an only child. Yes. Reza has been your brother, essentially, for your whole life. I mean, you guys have been through the thick and thin, even before Shaw's uh, started airing. What happened and was it bad? I mean... T tell us. I mean, I can only speak for myself because, like, I'm waking up, like I said to you before, like, expecting the most important. First of all, I was in peril. I'm glad to be alive. So I expect him to be there for that. Yeah. Then, of course, I expect him to be there for the biggest joy, biggest life event. And that didn't really happen. So, of course, I shift to, again, like, what's important to me and focusing on the baby. And, you know, I can't speak for him. I can't explain um, I'm not out there. On, I'm not on set to have that voice. So, you know, that's when it comes back to the love cocoon and yeah. all these other things. But, you know, my mom is like um, a completely different person. Vita is a completely different <laughs> animal altogether. We love Vita. We, uh, where and is she's Vita? Changed. I know she should have been here. She's changed so much and she retired so that she could be with the family. Like there's just a lot of good uh, stuff. Good. Good. Yeah. There's good foundation there. Yeah. And I want to ask you, how has Bravo been through all of this, throughout the, the pregnancy and what's going on? Have they been super supportive? Has there been a lack of support from Bravo? That's a really hard question to answer. Why is that? Um, because I think that, you know, we have a tendency to just try to respect, you know, the Bravo family. Sure. And um, I know that if I'm going to be doing something on TV, that I will respect the journey and share it, you know, with, the, with their cameras. So, like, you might see a lot of other people sharing a lot of things on social that sometimes I watch, and I'm like, isn't that supposed to be on the season, the upcoming season? So, um, you know, like, it's a, it's a, like, I, I have love for Bravo, so, and I know that they have love for me. Uh, what has uh, the other cast been up to? Have they seen the baby? Have you taught Mike, Gigi, no, Asa, no, no. Nima? N no. No, when the first few days or the first week when they should have been there and they weren't, then after that, like, the door was closed. So no one from your, your camp, like I say, watching over the, I mean, you guys are thick as thieves. Even amidst all the drama, not a single one came to see you. From the current cast, no. And Shervin, though, he has been around. Okay. And he has been not only the super supportive and present and has met the baby, but everybody else is a, is a no. Wow. That's shocking. <laughs> to I mean, after all you guys have been through. I and, and you've disagree. mended fences on the show many times. Yes. We should be okay right now. We should be in the best place right now. But 
we'll, you know, we'll see. I, I can only focus on the people that are there for me and the person that needs me the most, which is baby. Is your baby, yeah, Shams. Yes, Shams. Yes. You touched on having um, a, a tiff with Reza. Was what, what happened with the other cast? Is it just? Um, no, it's just more like, it's more like the, like, where you know when you should show up for someone, mm -hmm. and if you don't, that's what it starts got from, it. I okay, think. Got I it. think that's where it starts. But I have to ask you And that. then it continues when we're face to face. You right, know? wow. Yeah, because you know me, I have a lot to say. And you do, and you keep it very real. I was I was talking to our producers before you came in. I said that MJ is one of the mo one of the cast members that keeps it real the most, even though it is a reality show. I feel like your authenticity definitely shines, and it's it's you can feel it watching you and watching this show. I'm really so happy to share something that a woman is going to relate to um, a mother father dynamic. I'm sorry, I meant to say um, father daughter mother, daughter, like the family dynamic, the relationship. People can relate to the realness that Tommy and I bring. There's no frills. Like, I've never been embarrassed by anything that's happened. Every single thing that happens, I'm more than comfortable with. That's why I don't ever have to hold back. Yeah. Yeah. So no Reza, none of the other <laughs> cast. Uh, what would it take to, again, mend those fences, though? What, what would they have to do to get back in the graces of Miss Mercedes? I don't know. I don't have the answer to that question. Wow. Not today. Not today. No. Not today, Satan. Okay. Well, <laughs> enough talk about uh, the, the cast. So you had said that you haven't signed your deal with Bravo. What would the show do without Tommy, you, and Vita? I don't know. <laughs> do you want to watch that show? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, like I said, like I said, I, um, I definitely Oh, my goodness. You are love, going in yeah. right now. <laughs> um, ha, um, have you told... Do have you, you like my shoes? I love your shoes. I love your whole outfit. They're not played out yet. No. This is my push present it came from ice let's talk about the, the push present so tommy said here here you go here here is iced out have you dripping if you um almost die then the upside is that you can have a really nice little piece of ice from icing in the ring and here in la he got me that and he got me that for my wedding but no no i i do i do uh like your style <laughs> I Boy, my I nautical decide. style is this is this cruise collection cruise MJ? collection on fleek thank you thank on you fleek. so uh the fans want to know if you aren't on shaws would you do your own spin-off show we should we should probably you know keep the door open for sure we should probably keep the door open to those possibilities yeah we can't deny people what like, they want the best thing ever <laughs> <laughs> they're mj they're insatiable uh Okay, so how do you think Bravo will address you not being in the first few episodes? Well, you know, I, you actually don't know if whether or not what is going to happen. I, like I said before, I definitely would love to continue being part of the family. And know? we want you there. Yes. It's not Shaw's without MJ. I love you. And Tommy. And Thank Vita. You. And now baby Shan. And this beautiful, incredible incredible thing he's so great like i can't wait to go home and squeeze him and stare at him until he's 18 years old go, oh. yes yes i have to take off my makeup first because you don't want to get anything on the kid yeah <laughs> i love and it then i'm gonna you know devour him again congratulations thank it's you it's been wonderful watching you evolve into this this woman on the show she's changed she's she i was she has changed she's not the girl that was like pushing a dog stroller he said, I just want to sell a house and go to Coachella. That was me, like, you know, yeah. 10 years ago. And you had some goals and you made them happen. Thank God. Yeah. MJ, all the best. Thank you so much for chatting with us today.